If you're planning on going out when you visit London, here are some important things to know before you do. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Jess and I make videos for people who are coming to visit London and I'll have a special freebie for you at the end of this video. Let's start with the fact that you can find almost any kind of going out experience here in London. Whether you wanna just go to a traditional pub or you wanna to go to a high-end cocktail bar or you wanna go clubbing, you can find anything here in London. Let me explain the difference between bars and pubs. So pubs tend to, I mean, I said this 15 times already and I can't even remember. Um, Pubs are more family friendly. They tend to be open during the day because they serve lunch and dinner, and they are very focused on food as well as drinks. But bars, they tend to open only in the evenings. Sometimes they have food, but they focus on cocktails and music and a lot of times dancing as well. Now there are quite big variations in closing times for bars, pubs, and clubs. So pubs tend to close around 11 or 11.30, sometimes earlier in the weekdays. The bars will stay open till between like 2 and 3 a.m. and clubs could go all night right into the morning just depending on which venue you're at. Now, I'm really not a club person, so I'm probably not the best person to ask about this, but you can probably expect for London clubs to pick up around midnight. You will almost definitely pay a cover charge to get in. And I think some of the most popular clubs in London are XOYO, Fabric, and Egg, but don't quote me on that because I have never been to any of those. So when Londoners are at the bar or the pub, they tend to order drinks in rounds. That way, one person is only having to go up and wait at the bar for a really long time to get their drinks, not everybody at the same time. So it's a pretty good system. You can join in with that when you're here. You can sometimes find good happy hour deals in London if you look for them between like 4 and 6 p.m. A couple places that I know that do really good ones are Bar Soho, Barrio, and Simmons, which is actually right behind me. Cool. After work drinks is a huge thing here in London, so I would definitely recommend, especially if it's a Friday and especially if you have nice weather, to join in with the Londoners and go hang out at a pub at quitting time and you might actually maybe even make some Londoner friends. Who knows? So there are places to drink all around London, but a couple of areas that I think are really good for it are Soho, which is where we are right now, and also around Shoreditch and Old Street. Both of these areas are usually buzzing really late into the morning, even on the weekdays. So you can get faced until whatever time you want. Okay, so here's a very general recommendation on the dress codes. So pubs are always very casual. You can pretty much wear whatever you want and that's totally fine. Bars, it depends on the venue. Some places you'll see that people are quite dressed up with like heels and nice dresses and collared shirts, but some of them are also really casual and you don't have to worry about that. And clubs, it also varies. So if you're going to one that's more like a music venue, people tend to usually be a lot more casual there. But if you go to a more high-end club, like let's say in Mayfair, then there will definitely be a dress code for both guys and girls. And if you are ever in question if there's a dress code anywhere you're going, just check on their website. The venue will always say what the dress code is on their site. In terms of tipping when you are going out drinking, unless you go somewhere where you're getting table service, then you do not need to tip, so don't even worry about it. So if this is your first time visiting London, then I would recommend getting my free London 101 guide. It has everything you need to know before you come and you can get that by clicking the link for it down in the description box of this video. And for more tips for your trip to London, just click the box that's popping up right below me to watch another video. Let's start that you can find whether you want to go to a tradition. Tradi so whether you want to go to a tradition.